Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, I've reported on my channel a few times that anytime any activity uh, happened at the Yellowstone area that I would keep you guys up to date. Well, something has happened and leaving people questioning whether they should panic or not panic. So I've got a lot of information to share with you. Uh, but for starters, we all know that if something were to happen in the area, the public would be the last to find out. So what is going on? Well, over the past six weeks, there have been three eruptions with the geyser. This is uh, unusual in the event that it hasn't happened in quite a while. It's been over 10 years since the last time this occurred. Well, check out this first report here. This is on Reuters.com and it's headline, Unusual Eruptions at World's Largest Active Geyser in Yellowstone. The world's largest active geyser has erupted three times in the past six weeks at Yellowstone National Park, including once this week and in pattern that is unusual, but not all indicative of a more destructive volcano eruption brewing beneath Wyoming, geologists said on Saturday. Now it goes on that the steamboat geyser, which can shoot water as high as 300 feet into the air, erupted March 15th, April 19th, and on Friday. The last time he erupted three times in a row was in 2003. The U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory said the last time it erupted prior to March was more than three years ago in September of 2014. There is nothing to indicate that any sort of volcanic eruption is imminent, Michael Pollan, the scientist in charge of the er er observatory, said in an email. This year's eruptions have been smaller than a usual steamboat eruption, but the two in April were about 10 times larger than an eruption at the park's framed Old Faithful geyser in terms of the amount of water discharged, he said. Now, I have to agree in the sense that I don't think it's too unusual considering we had three in 2014 may not have been as high as this one, but also we had three in 2003. Then I have to say there's not real concern when you're looking at the geysers alone. Now, if animals were leaving the area or if the water system was drying up underneath, if you will, to put it simply in a simple form, then we would have reason or a massive uptick in uh, some of the earthquake bacteria, then we might have something to worry about. But just based off geysers alone, I would say I have to agree and there's no need to panic now. Now here's another report put out on zerohedge.com and this one's titled, Unusual Eruptions at World's Largest Active Geyser in Yellowstone Stoke Super Volcano Fears. This goes on to state that geologists have not been able to pinpoint, however, a reason for the latest series of eruptions with they, which they say could indicate a thermal disturbance in the geyser basin, or that the steam moat may be having smaller eruptions instead of one large. Of course, it can be simply attributed to randomness. Since most geysers do not erupt on a regular schedule, it just might reflect the randomness, randomness of the geyser. Whatever the cause for the unusual eruptions at Steamboat, there is no need to panic just yet. What would be far more worrying would be the water in the hydrothermal systems drying up, which could indicate that the super hot magma deep below was making its way to the surface. Yellowstone has not had a volcanic eruption for over 70,000 years. Geysers erupt all the time, said Jake. Lone Stern, a USGS research geologist who specializes in volcanoes. So there you have it. Now on a standard baseline for that area, normally they have about 3000 earthquakes a year, kind of a lot. Uh, but unless we're going way over that, which there have been a couple of years, uh, I believe earlier this year, we actually went over uh, and I maybe even last year, which causes a little bit of my alarm bells to go up as far as the area is concerned. So yes, there's a little bit of reason to keep an eye or maybe even more than a little bit of a reason to keep an eye on Yellowstone, but nothing to put us in panic mode and say that the thing is going to erupt tomorrow or erupt this year. Nobody knows when or if it will erupt anytime soon. Uh, sure, sometime down the road, could be 100,000 years, could be 20,000, could be 10, could be two. Nobody really knows the time and date on that eruption. But either way, it's good to be prepared and watch the area. But according to the USGF, USGS, there's no need to panic. But that said, we all know that they're not going to give us the most up-to-date information and likely the public will be the last people to find out 
if there is an eruption. So just a heads up. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't see a reason to panic, at least now. Nobody's leaving the area. If people start evacuating, then we have an issue. Or if um, that water recedes from underneath, then we have an issue. Or if there's a massive amount of upticks in earthquakes, we might have something to go on. Uh, right now, the randomness of the guys are not the biggest concern, but obviously something to think and watch. Anyhow, I'd love to get your comments on all of that. Agreed or disagree, whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them. Well, thanks again for tuning in. And don't forget to check out my partner at noblegoldinvestments.com. Convert your 401ks into a Roth IRA and check the link below. They also have the phone number, which you can call them on the screen uh, as well. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.